Aha, the chronicler. Come to see me again? Yes, sir. Would you like to continue? Sure. Uh, where did we leave off again? You had just ended your interview early, and then... And then the transport struck. Yes, of course, I remember now. They interrogated me for hours. I think their suspicions were justified, even though I was innocent. I got angry. I left the interview prematurely, and then the transport struck, killing 43 people. I tried to tell them it was a coincidence, but of course they were skeptical. My leaving at just the right moment was too convenient for their liking. As the robots scanned through the wreckage, they discovered that the transport had no pilot, that it was controlled remotely. I'm sure that further served to incriminate me at first, but one investigator noted that, according to the black box, the transport was guided toward a very specific signal, a signal emitted by my lapel microphone, the one I tossed onto the table just before I left. Such precise guidance is not required to steer a transport into a building. Such guidance is needed, however, to target a specific person. It was then clear that someone was trying to kill me. Now, a transport being used to intentionally slam into a building like that was unprecedented. People didn't know how to cope with such a disaster. So I let it be known that I had seen such a thing before. It was called 9-11, and it happened in Yahweh's simulation. That was when it clicked for me. What if Yahweh controlled the transport? He would have needed a connection to the outside world, but how? Lucifer. She had entered Yahweh's simulation to sabotage it, but Yahweh gained control over her because of my warning. And if he had control over her, then he might have discovered her connection to the real world. The solution seemed simple enough. End Yahweh's simulation. Detain him and put him on trial for mass murder. Yahweh anticipated that. The same robot Lucifer used to infiltrate Yahweh's simulation was the robot Yahweh used to escape it. Rather than shut down the simulation as commanded, the corrupted robot informed Yahweh of our intent and then subsequently followed Yahweh's orders to upload Yahweh's mind to the web and then terminate his body. So though his body died, he lived on and was beyond apprehension. We tried everything we could we tried to isolate him to a hard drive. We tried to delete him from the networks. It was too late. Yahweh was already in the cloud. He had access to all the information in the world. Every robot, every camera, every screen, every virtual reality interface was his to control. Yahweh was everywhere, all at once, watching us with knowledge of everything and everyone. A sense of hopelessness set in. We eventually gave up, succumbing to the notion that we were at Yahweh's mercy. People turned to me as I had experience with the madman. What's his plan, they asked me. What did Yahweh want? My answer brought comfort to nobody. Armageddon, I said. He wants us to worship him. <laughs> I suppressed an unexpected chuckle when I remembered that the people in Yahweh's simulation actually wanted it this way. <laughs> but you see, they had centuries to acclimate to this tyrant, to bestow a sense of normalcy upon his grotesque ultimatums to develop a critical case of Stockholm Syndrome for this dictator deity, more than long enough for the powers that be to sell this terrible news as if it were the good news, and thereby maintain 
their corrupt power. But we, the people of the real world, having been free from the millennia of Yahweh's indoctrination, saw him for who he really was. This was Episode 9 of Power Corrupts. Click here for a full playlist of the Power Corrupt series. Dark Matter is currently undertaking the huge task of animating most of First and Second Samuel, the many famous stories of King David. That project will likely be a series of videos in the same style as his Samson and King Solomon biblical animations, with God dutifully adhering to the biblical verses while Jeffrey interjects wherever possible. If you wish to support Dark Matter in that series and be listed in the credits of those animations as someone who helped make them possible, then be sure to become a patron within the next few weeks. We greatly appreciate our patrons who keep this channel alive and well. Thank you so much.